Potentially game-changing news in the ongoing Bill Cosby saga tonight as one of his youngest accusers comes forward with allegations of abuse as recently as 2008. After so many other alleged victims have come forward without having their day in court, she opens up to ABC's Kena Woodworth. It's such a traumatic and hard thing to live with. Hey guys. 25-year-old Las Vegas model Chloe Goins is one of the youngest women to come forward accusing embattled comedian Bill Cosby of sexual abuse publicly. Her lawyer believes that she is Cosby's only alleged victim to fall within the statute of limitations, making her claims a potential game changer in the firestorm surrounding the man who was once America's favorite dad, star of the legendary Cosby show. All I can think is hypocrite. Somebody who goes on TV and presents such a wholesome image yet is so sick. And that's why I'm here today, to bring out the truth, the truth about his lies, the truth about his secrets. Goins filed a civil lawsuit Tuesday claiming Cosby drugged and assaulted her in 2008 when she was just a teenager. It's tragic that it happened to me when I was so young, just coming into womanhood. She now joins the ranks of over 50 women who have accused Cosby of sexual assault, drugging or rape. Their allegations spanning five decades. Cosby has never been charged with a crime in regard to any of these accusations, and his attorneys have said he denies all allegations. Goins' lawyer says Cosby offered Goins a drink at a party at the Playboy Mansion in 2008. Chloe had a few sips of the drink and it began feeling nauseous and dizzy. He says Cosby then offered to escort her to a bedroom. And on their way to the bedroom, uh, Chloe blacked out. She doesn't remember anything after that point until waking up with no clothes on, laying on her back in a bed. And at the time she wakes up, she felt that her chest was wet and sticky as if somebody had been licking on it. She then noticed that Mr. Cosby was down at the foot of the bed and was biting one of her toes. Coven says Cosby then left the room. It's an embarrassing thing that happened to me. Goins did not report the incident to police until January of 2015. The L.A. Police Department turned over the results of their investigation to the L.A. County District Attorney's Office just last week, and they're now deliberating whether or not to charge Cosby criminally. Why did you decide to go public? I decided to come public and come forward and relive everything that happened to me uh, because of the other women all the other women that have been abused by Mr. Cosby, and I would like to see justice for all of us. Her lawyers now believe she has a valid claim to bring forward both criminal and civil action against Cosby. The statute in California is very clear. She has eight years after age of majority, eight years after turning 18 to bring her claim up until age 26. Chloe right now is 25 years old, so she is, we believe, squarely within the statute of limitations. Cosby's attorneys told ABC News they had no comment on Goins' civil suit. But earlier in January, a lawyer for Cosby said Cosby wasn't in L.A. when the alleged incident occurred, saying in a statement, we will be providing documentary evidence to the appropriate authorities which conclusively establishes Mr. Cosby's whereabouts on August 9th and for the preceding and succeeding days. Goins' attorney says the disputed date was a false assumption. She has never publicly said that she was there on any specific date. Goins' civil suit comes on the heels of another accuser making legal headway. The lawsuit is moving forward, as you can see. Tomorrow, Bill Cosby is set to be deposed under oath for the first time since mounting allegations of sex abuse against him made headlines earlier this year. In any deposition, uh, we are permitted to ask any question that is relevant and that is reasonably calculated to lead to the discovery of admissible evidence. And so we have wide latitude in any deposition so that we are able to prepare our case for trial. Gloria Allred's client, Judy Huth, alleges the 78-year-old star forced her to perform a sex act on him at the Playboy Mansion in the mid-70s when she was just 15 years old. We're looking forward to proceeding with this case. A judge has ordered the deposition recording and transcript to remain sealed until December at least, pending further arguments. Cosby's lawyers have denied Huth's claims in court documents calling them absolutely false and baseless. I expect that Bill Cosby will invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination on almost all of the crucial questions that Gloria Allred or any other attorney wants to ask him.
statutes of limitations prevent most of Cosby's accusers from attempting to file criminal charges or civil claims against him for incidents that allegedly occurred so long ago. But that hasn't prevented others from speaking out. In September, over a dozen women spoke out in A&E's Cosby, the Women Speak. I first met Bill Cosby in 1969. In 1976. In 1984. Among them, Beverly Johnson, celebrated model of the 80s. Johnson says she was invited to Cosby's Brownstone to rehearse in the mid 80s. He said there's an exercise you do in method acting, you know, in which you act like you're drunk. Next, she says he insisted she try a cappuccino. Immediately, I felt woozy. Everything was spinning, and I was you know, dizzy, and I knew I had been drugged. No doubt in my mind. He puts one hand around my waist, and I remember cocking my head and saying, you're a aren't you? According to Johnson, Cosby escorted her out of the house and threw her into a taxi. I was so disappointed. I w it was like a family member had done something to me. I knew that the kind of person I was dealing with would destroy me. Even though there is no verdict yet in any civil case filed against him by any of the accusers, in the court of public opinion, he's lost that battle. And it's the many other women who Chloe Goen says ultimately gave her the courage to come forward as well. I buried it for a long time and uh, I'm not sure how I would have been able to come out if these brave women didn't come forward and find the strength to tell their story. Goen's civil lawsuit includes a list of 40 other accusers. We felt it was very important to give a voice to those victims, all 40 women that we were able to identify, their voices, their stories, and be able to talk to them in this litigation so that they can speak on the record for the first time. I'm trying to heal myself from everything that's happened and coming out about it and speaking about it, it does help. It's been very hard. When this is all said and done, what is justice for you? I would like to see him behind bars for everything he's done. For Nightline, I'm Kana Whitworth in Los Angeles.